Hi everyone. Today we're going to end our time in Deuteronomy. We're going to read chapters 7, 8, and 9. In chapter 7, Moses is telling them one more time that the Lord is going to drive out the nations of Canaan. He reminds them to simply remember the Lord. Remember that he chose them. Listen to why. Pay attention to that. Not because they were big, but because he loved them and was fulfilling a promise made to their ancestors. The message is that the Lord is faithful. Watch for some of the specific, th specific things Moses says to the people about how the Lord will drive out the inhabitants of the land. We see some of those things are going to happen very, very soon. Finally, he tells them that it will take a while to claim the land, and then he explains why. Chapter 8, one more time, he tells them not to forget the Lord. I didn't count how many times he's done this, but it's a lot. Why do you think before we are finished with this story, we are going to see over and over and over again that they do forget the Lord? Hebrews chapter 2 starts off with a chilling admonition. Hold on tightly lest you slip away. That's what he's worried about. This is a key element of this story, one we need to see and not forget. Chapter 9 raises another key point. It is not because of their righteousness that the Lord is giving the land of Canaan to them. Do you remember Genesis 15, 16? It says, in the fourth generation, your descendants, God talking to Abraham, will come back here for the sin of the Amorites has not yet reached its full measure. The Amorites representing Canaan. The Amorites were uh, a very sinful nation. And at this time, the Lord has decided they, their sin has reached the point that he is going to punish them. So Moses has told them to remember the Lord, remember the Lord, don't forget the Lord. So what does he now remind them of? The event with the golden calf. He's hoping with all of his warnings and reminding them of how they were in the past unfaithful to following the Lord, that they will this time be faithful and be able to take the land. Tomorrow, we go into Joshua. I hope you enjoy. Talk to you tomorrow. God bless.